One of the questions that I'm asked significantly enough number of times is how do we network with influencers and VIPs? To help you achieve this, I'm going to give you five of my favorite principles. Let's get started. Principle number one, principle of self-value. You gotta remember that influencers are the people who have extreme amount of self-worth. They value themselves significantly. And they're also the kind of people who can actually see through people. Within a very short span of time, they're actually able to assess what is the kind of value the person in front of, in front of them sorry, gives to themselves. Now, if you're approaching an influencer and you have self-doubt within you, they'll see through that. The point is, if you can't value yourself, they're not going to value you. Second principle. This is called principle of relevance. That's very, very important that you become relevant to them. Now, how do you do that? You do that by figuring out what is that they care about. What is important to them? Okay, now, if you can figure that out and find a way to add value to them, you've got a very, very strong chance of getting to, to that influencer. But here's the catch. Every time I share this advice, people often come back and say, well, Padipur, there are influencers. What value can I add to them? I'll answer this question this way. When I speak with influencers, they always come around and say there's a common thread that they're always looking for good people to connect with. On one side, we tend to believe we can't add value to them, and on the other side, influencers say that they're looking for people who can add value to them. There's a gap. We need to get away from the mental block that we can't add value to influencers and look for ways to do that. Now, this comes, uh, this brings us to principle number three. Um, this is the principle of clarity. Many a times you'll actually get a very short span of having a conversation with an influencer. Now in that time, you've got to be very, very clear about what you want to say to them. And it's absolutely okay to practice, to rehearse, so that you're actually able to make the most of that short opportunity that you get with them. Next principle. Principle of familiarity. Familiarity, sorry. This is very important. One of the biggest mistakes we make is that we actually tend to see an influencer and we want to approach that person and have a conversation. Well, while sometimes it works, it actually makes it very difficult. It is extremely valuable to actually spend some time, research an influencer, get to know them through their LinkedIn page, through their Wikipedia page, through through uh, the articles on them, through their website, so that you actually feel a connect to that person. Okay, now when you research someone, when, when you get to know them about the journey, about the beginning, how they've come to be who they are, you'll actually feel a little more comfortable with them. There's going to be a psychological effect there. And that will make it easier for you to connect with them. And here's a little bit of hack. I see often at conferences people wanting to network with influencers and VIPs after they get, get off from the stage. Now what happens is that the moment they get off from the stage, a lot of people want to talk to them and give them their cards. But you could do something different. You could actually study them before and go and talk to them before they get on the stage. Okay, combine all these principles and approach them before they get on the stage. That way you'll have much less number of people wanting to talk to them and probably get more attention from them. Try this out. Okay. Now this brings us to the last principle, the principle of expectation. You've got to remember that influencers are the kind of people that are extremely busy. They have very less time. Now, sometimes even though you have everything right, they just won't have the time to give to you. So when you're approaching an influencer, do your best, but do not expect them to respond to you. And very, most important, very, very important, do not get disheartened if they don't. It just might not be the right day for you to connect with that person. But what you've got to do is you've got to keep practicing these principles and keep trying. Practice makes perfect. Take care. I hope this added value to you. If it did, please leave a comment below, share your views, share the video ahead and let me know what else can I help you with.
Take care. Bye-bye.